Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church, Philippines. Just wanted to give you a quick missionary update. Uh, we had 193 salvations this past week. It was a really good week. We had our all-day soul winning marathon on the Day of Valor, a holiday here in the Philippines. We also have our all-day soul winning each Saturday. So overall, we had good results. Um, you know, in Pampanga, they did extra soul winning during the week. So combined, it gave us a very good week, especially considering that the guidelines are pretty strict right now. And so... Um, anyways, in terms of sermons that I preached, on Wednesday we finished the book of Hosea. That was a great book. You know, we really enjoyed it. There's going to be um, some kind of intermediate sermons here on Wednesday that I'm going to preach. And we're going to have some kind of changes to our ministry, which I'll talk about. It about. I, I've talked about a little bit like our families moving to Pampanga. So actually, we're going to have kind of a rotating schedule from the men that preach in Manila for the midweek service. And we're going to add a midweek service in Pampanga. And I'll start a different book to do on Wednesdays. And so, um, anyways, we finished up Hosea on Wednesdays. We also have our Bible Memorization Challenge through the book of Hosea. And we have prizes for if you memorize the first chapter versus if you memorize the entire book. So we've had several people that have finished memorizing the entire book of Hosea. And I love these challenges because it, it really kind of forces me to, to get involved in it. And um, my goal is to try to memorize the chapters, every chapter before I end up preaching it. it. I found it to be the best way for me to study the Bible. It's really encouraging having other people from our church that have memorized it. So several people have already memorized it. They have until the end of the month. And um, I believe there's several other people that are pretty close, so they might finish it as well. So um, great job, everybody. And um, we finished Hosea. On Sundays, um, you know, I, I preached through Romans 14 was uh, the first sermon. And, um, you know, I uh, was talking about the Seventh-day Adventists because I had preached through Romans 14 and gone through it, but Romans 14 is the big chapter against the Seventh-day Adventists. So I preached a sermon against the Seventh-day Adventist cult, Exposed, and then continue your false philosophy series on Buddhism with the idea of removing suffering from our lives, which is not really a sermon against Buddhism. It's just against this idea that removing suffering is what we need to try for in life, which is actually false. It's actually not what the Bible teaches. So anyways, um, just some kind of changes that are happening. And, um, you know, in terms of the government strictness, we went from ECQ to MECQ, which is good. It's one step down. We still have three steps to get back to, or three steps to go to basically no restrictions whatsoever, because we've been quarantined for uh, over a year now. With But we're three steps away from having no quarantining. Um, I think that's still going to take a while. And um, right now we have a curfew at 8 p.m. So our midweek service this week is actually going to be at 5 p.m. We're kind of changing it each week depending on what the guidelines are. Soul winning will be at 3 p.m. Um, in terms of uh, the strictness, children are still not allowed in public. We're going to kind of have to get out of the quarantine completely, I think, for that to happen. With the cases kind of jumping up, the government went very strict, but now they're kind of going on the downward trend. So just continue to pray for that, um, you know, because obviously we're hoping to have the missions trip next year. And uh, many people would like to visit our church and things such as that. And so we'll just kind of see if that's going to be a possibility. It's really hard to tell right now. And, um, you know, other than that, things are going um, really well at our church overall. Um, you know, we have had a lot of people sick recently, and um, obviously with the strict guidelines, it is difficult for everyone to be able to come. And so, but overall, things are going well. Just continue to pray for our ministry. Things are just really busy here right now, and so we're just trying to get through everything. And I think things are going to calm down here in about another week. We just have a lot of paperwork we have to finish, and we had so many marathons, like four or five days over a, an 11 day period, like all day soul winning marathons. So things have been exhausting, but things are going great and God's definitely blessing us. So just continue to pray for our ministry and thank you and God bless.